I'm going to be speaking shortly on the principle of sewing and ripping. Sewing and ripping is a principle in creation. In Genesis chapter 8, verse 22, the Bible says, As long as the heart remains, seed time and harvest time shall not cease. So it's a principle of creation. What you don't sow, you never reap. It's also a spiritual principle. In Galatians chapter 6, verse 7, the word of God says, No one can deceive God. In other words, no one can mock God. What a man sows, he will also reap. And you reap in proportion of your sowing. You sow abundantly, you reap abundantly. You sow sparingly, you reap sparingly. In Christianity, what are the things we sow? We sow our time, we sow our treasures, we sow our talent, making these things available for the expansion of the kingdom of God. And especially now as we approach harvest season 2021, it's important for us to sow good thoughts in respect of the harvest, to sow good words in respect of the harvest, to sow good actions in respect of the harvest, and also to ensure that we sow our seed of money for the success of the harvest. As we sow good thoughts, as you look at the season approach, begin to plan, begin to think of what you can do to make it successful. How do you sow good words, encouraging words to members of your society, encouraging words to members of the church? Oh, we need to do this thing. It is for the glory of God. That's sowing good words. How do we sow in action? Be there to assist the committee. Don't stay aloof. Be a part of it. See a gap and feel it. Very, very important for us to do. And we have assurance in the word of God that when we sow, the Lord will receive it and return it to us. Good measure, press down, shaping together. That's the promise that we have in the word of God. We sow unto eternity. We sow unto the spirit so that we can reap life eternal. When we sow into the flesh, we reap corruption. And so that's the encouragement. And I pray that this harvest season will be for you a season of open heavens. God will so bless you this season that you will have seed to sow more than ever before. God will so bless you this season because he's the one who gives seed to the sower. He's the one who gives bread to the eater. That's my prayer for you. And I want to plead that the whole society Apostle of peace, and they should continue in the good spirit with which we have started. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. None of us will labor in vain, none of us will sweat in vain for the kingdom. We shall be abundantly rewarded in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. God bless you.